Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com, Instagram ERW underscore plans, and Etsy ERWplans.etsy.com, Patreon, patreon.com slash ERWplans. Today, we're going to do a review of the Spring 2021 collection for Passion Planner. If you caught my um, live video two weeks ago, um, then you saw me kind of like geeking out over the launch when it happened, um, but I didn't have any product. And what's going on there is that while I'm a rep for a uh, passion planner, so or a brand ambassador as they call us, so I can see on their webinars what products are launching maybe two weeks in advance of you guys getting the launch, I don't actually get product from them. As I've said a billion times before, there's no spawn con here. I don't get anything for free from anyone ever. Everything I have is paid for out of pocket. Um, it's why I have the um, uh, Patreon because that's the only way I can keep funding doing these videos. Uh, <laughs> I had some old comments like, hey, your lighting sucks. Hey, your audio is like too close. We can hear you like swallowing between, you know, words. Yeah, like that's because everything is out of pocket. I film this on an iPhone. You want with with AirPods for uh, mics. You want pro audio. Because I'm a photographer. I'm not a videographer. You want pro audio, pro video. Become a patron. Patreon.com, ERW plans. Then we can then we can talk. Then you can criticize my video, my audio, my graphics, all that stuff. But like I said, all this comes out of my pocket from my photography job, from the sticker money, and from my day job. So just just to clear that up. I, I can't have everything in front of me. I get nothing from free, for free from Passion Planner, Amplify Planner, Bloom Planner, any of the planners that I've shown you. Nothing. I don't get a thing for free from anybody. Okay. Um, so when I say like when I do a product review like this, these are all my honest opinions because no one's paying me for opinions. So anyway, uh, spring launch uh, two weeks ago and they launched the Academics. They launched for 21 to 22, they launched the new undated colors and they launched um, uh, five new sticker books and they launched a redating kit. Um, I got one of everything except for the sticker books because I am just, I haven't been a fan of their sticker books. Every time they launch a sticker book, I'm like, maybe it'll be different this time. They've made some improvements to the sizing issue because the original sticker launch, if you've seen that video, the stickers are huge. Uh, if you check out the what stickers will fit in your passion planner video, you can see how just oversized they originally were. Uh, they're doing a lot better now with just making them small enough to fit all three sizes, but then it looks a little funky, in my personal opinion, for the to put them in large. So I just, I, I didn't get the stickers because like I said, comes out of my own pocket. I don't have money to spend on stickers I'm not going to use. And no one's going to uh, buy them or refund my money or take them as a giveaway if I've already used some of them for these demo videos. So I don't have the sticker books. They're not getting reviewed in this. Um, I will give you a rundown toward the end of what the new sticker books are like, but for the most part, I, I don't have them here to show you. So having gone through all of that, let's get into our review. Okay. Again, sorry about the audio. Become a patron and, and, and then I can buy better stuff and you can still complain if it still sucks. Um, I said I didn't get any of the sticker books, but the thing I was like super excited about that I did get were the uh, calendar stickers. That's what they're calling them. They call them calendar stickers. They're really a redating kit and they're not like any kit I have seen in an Etsy shop. So unlike the tabs, which you guys have heard me say, I feel like they're directly competing with some Etsy shops on that. 
you can get individual stickers to redate and spend a good amount of money. But with these stickers here, you're talking about 12 bucks and you get all the stickers you need to redate your planner for the year. Um, I monthly and daily and the weeklies. I don't think that even Chelsea's shop offers them at that price point. I would double check, but I, I haven't seen, I think I've spent, I used to spend about 20 to redate when I'm uh, using her shop. So that said, I, I got them in, they come in three colors. There's white, black on white. There's cl black on clear. And then there is the rainbow ones. I got all three and I'm gonna show you the rainbow ones just cause I've checked this out earlier. They just show up better on camera. So the first thing to know is like every other sticker that Passion Planner sells, there is only one size. So it's one size fits all. They're a little big on the small. They're a little small on the big. They fit the medium. And if you get the clear ones, it doesn't really matter cause the numbers are small enough if you can see, yeah, there you go. The numbers are small enough on this that what well, the clear ones, they'll fit all three sizes. You won't notice that they're kind of off size a little bit. So you get three sheets in each pack. So it comes out to about four bucks a sheet. You have an entire year's worth of 31 day stickers on the first sheet. So and I, that's another reason I'm showing you the rainbow one, because you can see the different months or how you get 12 sets. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 colors. So you can see right there. So this, uh, so that, so you get everything you need for the weeklies right here, one sheet. You also get everything you need to do your monthlies. As you can see here, you have the, I think these are actually the ones that are supposed to be for the weeklies, but, uh, oh no, it's just a monthly. It does say monthly right at the top. It even tells you, all right, yeah, this one says weekly at the top there. Let's see if you can see it. Eh, it's gonna be a little blurry, but right there it says weekly. This one right here says monthly, but it has the weeks so you can redate week, week one, week two, et cetera. That was a huge thing I know for uh, international customers of Passion Planner, that Passion Planner's week one didn't match the international week one. And so that was a point of contention last year in some of the forums. And it's pretty exciting to me that you can now redate that. So your week one, if you're in a country where there is a specific week one and you, when you ask for vacation, let's say you ask for, you know, week 10 off, you can now redate your calendar to have the correct week number. So that's exciting. Um, you have your January, Feb you know, all of your months in the um, rainbow one, they match the uh, stickers here. So for example, January is red. They're gonna, they match the date name. And this way you can use this not only just to redate your regular passion planner, but you can also use this to date an undated planner. Uh, you could even use this in a different planner. Uh, so that's the second sheet. And then the third sheet are just these little icons. I honestly um, like Chelsea's icons sheet better than uh, this one. Uh, she has an icon sheet that you can get that I just like it better. This is honestly kind of like a freebie throwaway, but Considering how much you're getting with just these two little sheets, you know, it's a third sheet. You can use it. I don't know. Um, that, you know, the third sheet, not the biggest thing, but the first two I think are very, very cool to have. 12 bucks. You get 10% off when you use the code Elizabeth10. So that brings it down to uh, like $10.80 before tax. Okay. This was the thing I was the most excited about when I saw the launch because I already have a planner for the year. I already have, um, you know, stickers. I make stickers. I don't need more stickers. But this, because I'm never, I'm, okay, I shouldn't say never. I don't plan on making a sticker kit like this. 
So, um, yeah, this is, I, I was very excited about this because it's, it's one kit done. Um, the other thing that I was super excited about that hit the launch and is going to feature in two additional videos after this is the Passion Planner Journal, which I should put over here because I planned on putting it over here. Um, comes in two colors. It comes in the usual uh, Elite Black. I always want to call it Inky Black because that's my shop's name for black. Um, it is. It comes in blank, lined, dot grid, which is this one, and graph papers. So unlike some of the companies uh, for bullet journaling, you've got four different paper choices. There are 210 pages, so that works out to 105 spreads. This is a spread. If you're not in publishing or you don't know, two pages is one spread. So you have 105 spreads that if you're only doing a uh, bullet journal weeks, that works out to 105 weeks. That's two years. Um, if you're adding in things like a monthly cover page, a month in review page, uh, trackers, you have 52 pages for your weeks. You would have the 12 pages for your months. And then let's see, that comes out to 64 pages. So then you've got 41 pages for, ha for trackers or 41 spreads, I should say, for trackers, not even pages. You got, it's, it's, it is thicker than, um, like your dailies, I think. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't have a daily with me. Here's the, one of the, uh, small planners. It's about the same thickness as the small regular planner. I think it's slightly, it's, I think it might be slightly thinner than the, uh, uh, dailies, but it, it's got the same kind of, it's got that faux leather cover that they did a while back before they switched to that kind of like foamy cover. Um, yeah, the paper is the Passion Planner paper. And just go over it real quick. Your usual intro page. A table of contents that I think is just way too small, but it's a table of contents, so better than nothing. And then just all the pages, all just dot grid. So if you're like me and you're constantly stickering over those front pages, you know, uh, the how to use this planner, that kind of thing. There is no guide. This is this is freedom. This is absolute freedom. Comes in the small, which is this size here comes in the medium, which is the B5 size, and it comes in the large, which is an A4 size. It's a little bit larger than a regular sheet of paper in the, at least, um, larger than a letter and sheet of paper in the US and smaller than the um, legal paper to give you a size, to give you an idea of the large. And I will do a video going over the difference between small, medium, large, but in the meantime, this is the size of a small, this would be the size of a medium. This is a scribbles that matter bullet journal. This is a, and this is the B5 size. This is the size the medium is. This is the size of a small. And then for the, once again, just for the sake of comparison, this is a sheet of letter paper. So letter paper, small, medium just to give you guys size ideas. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to do a full review of the this, including like a pen test page, so you can see how the paper works with different types of pens and markers, even watercolor. Um, so I'll do a full review of this in the future. Uh, note, two ribbons. There you go. I like there's two ribbons, but it also has little gap at the top so you can add in a third ribbon or however many ribbons you need um once again there will be a full review of how i use this what the paper's actually like it, it's it's beautiful it's very smooth um i think in one of our uh uh brand ambassador meetings angelia had said the paper when they were in development was so smooth you just want to rub your face on it and it's that's pretty accurate actually it's it's, it's 
I hate when people say things are buttery smooth. I don't know why. You know, there are some people that just hate the word moist. I have no problem with the word moist. There are some people that hate that word. I hate, I hate buttery. Unless you're describing food to me. Like, you, you want to tell me that these cookies are buttery? Okay, let, let, let's talk about the buttery cookies. But you tell me that um, my paper is buttery? My leggings are... Please don't tell me my leggings are buttery smooth. I, I don't want to wear butter. I have enough butter on my thighs already from all the cookies. Um, I, I don't want buttery anything on my thighs. No. Mm -mm. So anyway, there's that. Um, next up, I'll go over the academics. The academics came in three colors for the spring launch. There was the, they're calling it forest green. They're still in my colors now. This used to be called leaf green. It's now forest green. We're still in my color names. I'm not okay with it. Um, and I steal them from um, Pantone for the most part. Like on my sticker site, most of those colorly names like Tangerine Tango and Radiant Orchid, those aren't my names. Those are the Pantone colors that they, they are Pantone shades. Uh, the only ones that are my colors with my names on them are Philly Philly, which is the closest you can get to the midnight green uh, that's copyrighted to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Um, Cosmic Cappuccino, which is a darker, slightly darker, slightly golder version of Cosmic Latte. Um, and ERW Indigo. Those are, those are my colors that I like picked out like I named and shaded and everything otherwise uh they're all Pantone colors so forest green Pantone color they're now calling it the same thing as the color that it is um if you want to see how this stacks up to my forest green or the Pantone forest green if you will uh you can check out my insta uh I have the I'm doing color swatches for the next two or three days so you can see how the colors stack up because people have said oh well i got the yum yum yellow that's another one of mine yum yum yellow is mine and i have a fun story about that color um so yeah uh next two or three weeks i am uh demoing all of my sticker colors so you can see what they look like in a passion planner in an amplify planner so you can see what they look like with the white text and so you can see what they look like with the planner colors themselves. Um, one of my other colors is Yum Yum Yellow, and I have a story about that. But essentially, um, that color, I had someone write an Etsy comment saying, this, this color is too bright yellow. It's hard to read white text on bright yellow. And I'm like, well, yes. Yellow is very light white is exceptionally light I know no I don't know why people pick the colors that they pick but guess what you order a sticker that comes with white text and a yellow background I'm going to give you a sticker that comes with white text and a yellow background I don't tell you how to run your yo I don't tell you how to run your life I don't know what you're going to do with it I, don't know. I used to I used to ask people when they'd order strange things like they'd order the same sticker in a small, medium, large, I'd be like, uh, yo, you ordered the same sticker in a small, medium, large. And they'd be like, yeah, I meant to do that. Or, uh, you ordered like black on gray. And again, yeah, I meant to order black on gray. So I just kind of gave up on it. And I assume we're all grown ups here. We, we know what we're ordering, but apparently it's a little confusing. So I'm all week doing Instagram. You can see what the colors look like with white text. Uh, you can see what the colors look like with black, black text. And you can see what they look like in the planners and with the planners. So you, during this week, you will see what the forest green here looks like with my forest green. So that's the forest green. Um, this is the aqua blue that they had a while ago, just to kind of give you a comparison of this one, which I always thought came out like a green blue, more on the green side to the forest green. Forest green's a yellower color. Um, it's the same as the one that they were, I think, calling leafy green. Not the same as like Chelsea's leafy green, but I think, I think this was called like leaf green last year. It's forest green now that it's closer to forest green. So Sakura Rose Gold Academic Planner. And 
you know, the, the th I measured these out on the inside, both this and the leafy green one are um, the same as, th there's, they remain the same uh, width for all the columns and things as last year's planner. Sometimes they change up the widths ever so slightly, like by a millimeter. I'm not sure why they do that. They've done that in the past. And then the stickers don't fit. Uh, currently, these ones, the uh, small stickers in my shop, small stickers in Chelsea's shop, small stickers in most Etsy shops will fit this. Um, same layout as usual, one ribbon. Uh, this is the Brewer's Gold from three or four years ago. And you can see they're almost the same color. They're really, really close. The new one is a little bit pinker and a little bit darker. It's a little hard to see that they're slightly if you're like me and you do graphic design and things you see that there's a little bit different shading but for the most part if you have the old rose gold and you get the new rose gold you're unless you're like a graphic design nerd like me or you know an art nerd like me uh you're probably not going to notice a difference so that's the other academic they also came out with a hardcover academic. I did not buy one. Again, it, it, I ran the numbers and even with the discount that the reps get, it would have cost me $300 to buy everything that was released at launch. Uh, the Playful Pond is the same color scheme as the hardcover that they did um, for the annuals last year, the Serpent Spring. It's the exact same color scheme. It's the same cream colored background with the green and the orange and the yellow. So if you have that, you have a good idea of what the Playful Pond is going to look like. It's again, the same paper. Uh, it's the same little elastic color, that kind of cream color, the same color on the, the light blue and the white ribbon. Um, so it's basically almost the same as the Serpent Spring, except it's a potted plant instead of and some frogs instead of a snake don't know um but otherwise it's pretty much the same so if you had the serpent spring or you've seen the serpent spring or you see my video where i show you a walkthrough of the serpent spring it's the same thing for playful pond except that it's like said a potted plant and a frog and why that's called playful pond i don't know they didn't answer that so don't ask Okay, so uh, those were your uh, academics. Then we had the weekly undateds that launched. They launched two new ones. There's still the Elite um, hardcover black, but unlike the old undated, which on, with um, which had two green ribbons, this one has two black ribbons. So as someone as a, as a recovering goth and someone whose wardrobe is still completely black. Um, I'm excited. It's all black. It's, 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 it's black cover, black ribbon, black everything. And I'm, I'm here for it. Um, so if I was getting an undated hardcover, I, I, I would go with that one. There's also the Marvel undated. Um, again, did not buy it because it costs money and I don't have money. Um, but two ribbons, it's the double green ribbons. It is a black and white marbled cover, uh, same cover material as the old one, as, as the other hard covers. Um, and it's, you know, just, it's a printed image on what feels like a card stock, um, a chipboard cover. It's not like a nice fabric cover, like they gave as rewards to some of the, uh, influencers last year. I wasn't one of them that got them, but and I'm jealous because they were dailies. <laughs> Hardcover fabric dailies. I would have like literally cut off my right arm for one. Um, anyway, it's not that kind of cover. It is the smooth kind of uh, papery, like almost laminate, but not actually laminated papery cover. Um, so yeah. So that's what that covers like. It's just a printed picture of marble, black and white. Finally, for the undated, I'll show you the Cosmic Mint. 
Um, this is the medium size as opposed to the small that I showed you in the academic. Um, as far as the, this is the color, I have my light on like daylight color so you can try and get like the most natural looking color here. Um, I'll take it out of the plastic. Uh, I had said earlier about how the, this one doesn't have that foamy texture. It has more of the uh, classic like faux leather texture to the cover. It's like just like, it's a smooth faux leather. It's really lovely. Uh, same with the bullet journal. The Cosmic Mint is back to that foamy texture that we've been seeing the last couple years. Um, as far as color is concerned, this is how it stacks up to the Paradise Blue from 2017. Just to keep, it is, I feel like it's in person, it's a darker mint color than it looks like on the website. But, um, yeah, it's, it's still a very, very pale color. Um, I would love to show you inside. I had planned to show you inside, but then I opened up the pages and let me find a better example. Yeah, there we go. Opened up the pages and I, I don't know if you can see that, but there's, it's, it looks like someone karate chopped it. Uh, so uh, I have an email into Passion Planner right now to find out what they can do to help me. Hopefully I can either send it back for a refund and then I can show you the marble in a separate video or they will just send me, I can send this back and send a new planner. I understand that due to uh, COVID, they are, we're not accepting returns for a while. I think they were just saying, keep the planner, have your money back or keep the planner and we'll ship you a new one. I don't want to do that. I either want to just get a new planner and send the old one back because what am I going to do with a busted planner or um, send it back and get the money back. Either we'll, I will update you in a future video what happens and what the turnaround time is on that because I know that's in 2020 was a huge issue for them. Uh, they got a lot better. The launch, I mentioned this in the other video, uh, the launch for the spring collection was actually supposed to happen in April and due to what they considered to be unacceptable um, turnaround times, they were backlogged. They delayed the launch for spring by a week. I ordered this, I ordered this whole stack here um, on, on launch day and I had it so that launch day was la it was Tuesday the 4th and I had the the actual books in my hands by Wednesday the 12th. Uh, that's that's slower than they were 4 years ago, but it's the fastest they've been since mid since the dailies launched in uh, 2019. It, they, they they got it back to where I would expect. I'm never expecting them to be back to uh, 2017 levels. And, and you shouldn't either. No one should be expecting Passion Planner to be shipping the same day that your order is placed um, and getting it two days later. I know, I know Amplify is doing that. Amplify is a small company. Uh, I know everybody that works there, I think. <laughs> um, Unless Chelsea's hired some new people during the pandemic, I know everybody that works there. And they are dedicated. It's a three-person operation that's dedicated to boom, 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 boom. Passion Planner, do we want to call it a small business? It's a multi-million dollar, I think they have like 30 or 40 employees now, company. It It, it is not a small business, so you have, but it's not Amazon. It is not Amazon. So you have to have reasonable expectations for them. And personally, I think it's very unreasonable to expect a mid-sized company to be able to turn things around the way a small company like Amplify can. And that might not make sense, but as someone who, who owns two companies, as someone who has worked in government also, the more people you add to a system, the more complex the system gets and the harder it is to turn things around rapidly. Um, also, they're in California. California got hit 
very hard early on with the pandemic and there you know there was this whole pandemic thing that happened so um the fact that they shipped from san diego to boulder colorado um and i got my purchase a week after purchasing it is freaking incredible and we should all be like oh my god they're back they're back to normal i'm excited you should be excited um so there we are uh as i said in the launch day video there are also five new sticker books that came out that as i said earlier i didn't buy because i have not been thrilled and i saw the inside of all five sticker books as a brand ambassador or influencer or rep whatever you want to call us um then it's more of the same. In fact, I will say that some of the stickers looked like stickers I had in a happy planner. And I should probably do, I'm gonna put a video on the Patreon that shows you a comparison of the happy planner and passion planner stickers. Uh, so yeah, they did five new books. They have the florals and foliage, summer vibes, travel, school stickers and the pets book they're mostly deco stickers i there's some functional in there but with the weird size thing i don't know how functional you're going to find them the functional stickers in there i've been using the uh, just start book the new year new year book the uh the uh savings book and the uh, female empowerment book and I'm not I find that I've used the deco stickers more often just because they fit or I can fit them in somewhere it's harder to use these stickers when they're that are functional when in fact they don't fit I would love to see them launch three different size sticker books for the three different size planners that's beside the point. So that is, oh, and there was new tabs that launched. Um, there's a, to coordinate with the, some of the new sticker color or new book colors. Uh, so I'm going to do a review. I've been using their tabs for over a year now, and I still use Chelsea's tabs. So I've got a comparison review video coming up later this year so that you can see how my tabs have fared after a year because I have been using them um, in my weekly for the last year. You can see how those tabs compare to the tabs on this. This is the my 2018, 2018? Oh my gosh, is it 2018? Yeah, 2018 Passion Planner. These are the tabs from Chelsea's shop. Uh, this thing, in addition to me carrying it around for a year with no cover, this because this, uh, back when I had this, Cocoa Paper did not make covers this large, so I did not have a cover for this. So this is what Chelsea's tabs look like when you have no cover, you carry it everywhere in like a backpack um, for an entire year, and then you constantly put it in, take it out of a bookshelf. This is, like I said, 2018, so this is, you know, three years of existence we're, we're going to compare that to what the passion planner tabs look like after a year of use and we're going to do that at the end of the year so that's coming up i have videos coming up about the passion planner journal we're going to do like i said uh, earlier we're going to do a full review of the passion journal and we're also which is their bullet journal we're also going to do a eight i think it's eight bullet journal mega review so we're gonna have the electrums the moleskins uh scribbles that matter the passion journal uh limon i can't even remember uh, uh i think it's called nunya there there there's eight different uh oh and uh rodia there there's eight different ones I'm, I'm pretty sure it's eight that we're gonna test out because i've used four or five of those already um when i was bullet journaling and we're going to compare that to the passion planner one and see how that holds up and that'll be coming i think during the summer so if you're interested in starting to, in transitioning away from a planner into a bullet journal or you're just looking for like the best bullet journal notebook or if you just want a new notebook 
because uh, my giant uh, scribbles that matter that I showed you earlier, that's just a business notebook. That's not even like a bullet journal. So anyway, it's always good to know like kind of what your paper options are. So we're going to do a full deep dive review of that in the future. Um, all coming up uh, future episodes. Uh, so there you are. Uh, if you want to know when those future episodes are coming up, uh, I check out the Patreon again. That's um, patreon.com ERW plans. Uh, in addition to many videos that go up there for all patrons, there is also a schedule of upcoming videos so you know what videos are coming when. If you want to get notified when the videos go live, or if we do a special live because Passion Planner has dropped something on us, uh, like a new spring launch, or when the da new daily colors come out, which should be next month, subscribe. You'll get a notification letting you know that the uh, new stickers or new planners have launched and we're do going live as like an emergency, you know, video. Um, so thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, or share the video with your friends. New videos launch every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Of course, as explained before, sometimes weird things happen. Um, I have a, in fact, I have a plan for a uh, quasi-live, quasi-pre-filmed uh, video coming up in September. So to get notifications on those weird days where they don't happen at 7am, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much again and stick around for the next video.